Obajanga etita. Ten yo michi oik. Supiteo sukasa otoro otoko. Ore wa tendo. Sochi. Up for review today, we have the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kabuto, which is to commemorate the 35th anniversary of the Kamen Rider series. Now, the story is, is that a meteor crashes on Earth in 1999, and an alien race known as the Worms were carried on that comet. And seven years later, in 2006, a quiet 21-year-old man named Tendo Soji, who often quotes his grandmother and can pretty much do anything perfectly, he mostly shows it off in cooking. And, but, however, the worm species actually first arrived on Earth on April 3rd, 1971. And when Tendo, before he was renamed by his grandmother, his old name was Kusakabe Soji. He, when he was three, his parents were murdered by the worms and took their identity, he, as the worms had the power to copy everything about a human, even their memories. He's, and his mother was pregnant at the time, so the worm that took his mother's identity was also pregnant and gave birth to his younger sister, Hiori. But she doesn't know that she's really a worm until later in the series, so Tendo obviously protects whatever is left of his family. So he acquires the Kabuto belt and kills his imposter parents. And he's also kind of a jerk at the beginning of the series, but he does become kinder and show he does care about people. And Kagami Arata, who is Kamen Rider Gatak, which is basically a blue version of Kabuto with two horns, two calibers, and Vulcans in put-on mode, he tells them that they're not friends, and, but he does become well acquainted with them. Which, I honestly think Tendo is his friend, but he doesn't want to admit it, or he just doesn't want to get too close to people in case they get killed by the worms. Now let's compare him to the Sochaku Henshin version. As you see on the SH Fig Arts version, one of my favorite features about Kamen Rider Fig Arts is that they have the compound eye effect, like behind a transparent piece of plastic, whereas the Sochaku Henshin version makes the eye have more of a glitter effect. On the SH Fig Arts version, he has swappable hands, whereas the Sochaku Henshin figure er, does not have swappable hands. Well, it kind of does, depending on whether you want this to be mass mode or rider mode. You can pull out the hands too, but... Uh, for, in order for him to wield things, you have to open up the fingers. And it didn't come with a walking the path of heaven hand. On the palms, the Sochaku Henshin version is more accurate in terms of paint, but in terms of sculpting, all the details there on the SH Fig Arts hands. The belt on the Sochaku Henshin version is actually more accurate than the SH Fig Arts version. As you can see, in the middle of it, it actually has that black coloring, whereas the SH Fig Arts version has white on it. The white in the middle of the belt isn't the only part of the belt that's missing paint detail. But you don't really notice this unless if you take a good look at it. Behind the belt on the horn, it's actually still the same yellowish gold color, whereas on the Sochaku Henshin version, since the front part of the horn is red, they actually kept this part accurate. The Figuarts Kunai Gun is just one piece, and it's smaller than the Sochaku Henshin version. On the SH Figuarts version, it has more of a gold blade, and the Sochaku Henshin version has a yellow blade. And like what I mentioned earlier, the Fig Arts version of the Kunai Gun, and just the Kunai, just is two separate different pieces. Whereas the Sochaku Henshin version actually has something that's copied out of the show that the Fig Arts version doesn't have. Where you can put the Kunai back into the gun to make it the Kunai Gun, or you can just slip it out. This is what happens when you take the Fig Arts Kunai and try to make it into the Kunai Gun. It doesn't really fit in there all that well. Well, it'll kind of lock into place, but it's really easy to pull out. Another difference between both versions is metal. Obviously the Sochaku Henshin version is mostly made out of metal. His breastplate or chest plate, whatever you want to call it, is made out of metal, but under that his chest is made out of plastic, as are the shoulder pads, his arms, and his helmet. And, and the other metal parts are his zector, his legs, and the side parts right here on his legs. On the SH Fig Arts version, the only parts of metal well, are his feet, the sides of his legs, and these the sides of his arms right here I'm not 100% sure if these are metal or plastic. They kind of feel like both, so I'm not really sure on that. He looks alright next to the mask form of the Sochaku Henshin Kabuto, but they are making a Fig Arts mask form of Kabuto. Kabuto's accessory count includes his fist hands, which he has on right now, his kunai gun and his kunai, splayed open hands, gripping hands for the kunai gun, and his walking the path of heaven hand. In terms of articulation, it has 30 points of articulation.
And since Kabuto is an anniversary rider, what's a common rider without a rider kick? Rider kick. Roundhouse. Now let's go on to the posing one. have to give the SH Fig Arts Kamen Rider Kabuto a 5 out of 5 for the detail, the posability, the compound eyes, but the cons are is that there's missing paint on the middle of the Kabuto Zector, and behind the horn on the Kabuto Zector, unless if you take a good look, you'll see that there's missing red paint on there, instead it's the same color as the goldish yellow paint on the horn, and happy 40th anniversary to the Kamen Rider series.